Bat fans, welcome back. Today we're looking at setting Windows paths and also setting paths in QGIS. I had a lot of questions about a Slayer video that I put out and the MDB tools path, so this is a response to that. Plus we get to see the Slayer intro again. Paths are really important because they tell your computer where to find certain things. And so I'm gonna open up a command prompt by going down to the windows and I'm gonna type CMD. That brings up my command prompt, awesome. Now I've downloaded and unzipped, i.e. installed something called FFmpeg to make wonderful geo GIFs. So if I type in FFmpeg in my command prompt, uh-oh, not recognized. But don't worry, we can solve that. I installed FFmpeg on my C drive, so if I just go to my C drive and double click on FFmpeg, Oh, there's another folder here, and this is what I'm looking for, the bin. So if I do that and click into the bin, you can see that we've got FFmpeg EXE, so the executable. And if I just highlight this and Control C to copy it, that is now copied to my clipboard. Next thing I'd like to do is open up Control Panel. So I'm gonna go back to Windows and Control. And I have small icons selected. The default is usually large icons, so I'll go for small icons. And then I'm looking for system. Click on here and then go to advanced system settings. And down at the bottom, we have environment variables. And this is where you can set your paths. So I'll click into there. We've got user variables for me when I'm signed in, or we've got system wide variables that mean any user can access them. So I'm going to go into my path, highlight that, and I'm going to edit the paths that I've got available. See all these paths, loads of them, all sorts going on. And I would like to create a new path. And I'm going to paste in where FFmpeg was. So that's FFmpeg and we can get into its binaries, the bin. So that looks good. I'm going to OK that and OK that and I'll just leave that open for now. But let's open up the command prompt again. And, oh no, still not working. But that's all right. You usually have to restart your command prompt in order for those environment variables to take effect. So let's do that. Now I've restarted my command prompt. And if I go ffmpeg, enter, now we can access FFmpeg. And it doesn't matter where we are in our system, Windows will have a look through our environment paths and be able to find that. Now you may have noticed in my environment variables, so if I go back to control panel, system, advanced, and environment variables, in my path, you can see, if I go to edit, down here, we have the MBD, MDB, I can never say that right, tools, and we have it directed at where I have installed MDB tools. Okay, so let's have a look at that in QGIS and see what that looks like. So if I go to settings and options, and down here you can see that that is where my MDB tools is installed. So if you need MDB tools, that's what you use to uh, convert Esri.style databases. And you can download it from here, it comes in a zip file, unzip it to wherever you want, and just make a note of the path, and you can add that to your Windows system variables. And then Slayer will be able to find them. Okay, fantastic. Don't forget that there is a new online course up on the Bird GIS website, ArcGIS Online for Teachers and Students. So if you're brand new to ArcGIS Online, that's a good starting point for you. And you can receive a discount by using this link. Also coming up, we have got Model Builder in ArcGIS Pro. That's gonna be one in three quarter hours and it's in webinar format. And that is taking place on January 27th. If you go through the website, you can have a look at more details about it. Don't be shy of getting in touch if you want, if you have any questions. And you can reserve your seat through the website there. 
please click like. There is no reason to smash that like button. A click will suffice. Subscriptions are welcome and comment like nobody's reading. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope that has solved all your path problems and happy mapping.